What is up you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. So in today's video, I'm doing something a little bit different. I hope you like it. I love how everything turned out, but today I'm doing a bit of a morning routine. Definitely not a realistic morning routine, but I can do one of those if you want something a little bit more chaotic. But as a lot of you guys will probably know, I love using my macro lens to do all of my close-up macro shots whenever I'm doing makeup. I've done a full video doing like a full makeup tutorial using just macro shots and you guys seem to really love it. And I've always wanted to do the same kind of thing for skincare because I don't know if this is a bit weird, but I love textures. You guys know I love skincare. I have always loved skincare. I love skincare before I even started doing makeup. But yeah, I've always wanted to do like a really aesthetically pleasing macro video of like skincare textures like a skincare routine, loads of different close-ups. And so today I am doing just that and I'm doing it in collaboration with the most aesthetically pleasing skincare brand I have ever come across. So this video is very kindly sponsored by Typology. Some of you may remember a few months ago, they actually sent a bunch of their skincare over to me and I didn't even know anything about the brand at the time, but I remember opening it up and I was on my stories like, guys, this is literally like me. I mean, it's it's, that, I, that's not me in the bottle, I wanna make that clear here. That I'm, I'm here, I'm not in the bottle. Just clearing that up. But yeah, just this packaging, it's so simple, almost like industrial. And before I'd even tried out any of the products, I was just obsessed with the packaging. And so yeah, I've actually been trying out a lot of their products over the last few months and I've been really liking them. And they actually got in contact with me and asked if I would like to do a video with them. And I thought, this is the time. This is the time for me to do the macro shots with the beautiful skincare and all the textures and the nice packaging. And I really, really rate the products as well. And I actually only just found out that this brand is actually made by the founder of made.com. So it's no wonder everything is so aesthetically pleasing. I found that out and I was like, that makes sense. So if you guys don't know about Typology, it is a vegan brand that specializes primarily in skincare, but they also do fragrances, and they also have just started doing tinted serums, which I've actually been using most days when you guys have been asking me kind of what I've had on my skin. A lot of the time, I've just been wearing this. So yeah, it's a very simplistic vegan brand from France, but they do also deliver internationally. As well as being downright beautiful, the packaging is actually eco-friendly, so I'll give you guys a little close up there, but is anyone else just so obsessed with simple packaging? Like, don't get me wrong, you know that I love my extreme packaging for like makeup and everything, but I, I just love how things like this look. Like this is the kind of skincare that I leave out on my side, that I don't shove away in the cupboard because it just looks chic. I'm anything but chic, but I can at least convince people that go into my bathroom, aka my boyfriend who knows I'm not chic. And another thing that I like is that they've actually set out not to add extra ingredients to stand out from you know, the current market. They actually wanna get rid of different ingredients to make it as simplified as possible. And probably one of my favorite things that's also really, really unique to Typology is they actually have a skin diagnostic test, which will literally tell you what your problems are, what products you should be using. Cause there, there's a lot of skincare ingredients out and about right now. And sometimes even for me doing this as a job, it can get a little bit much. But I'll include a little cutaway of my diagnostic test it's really, really simple questions, just kind of saying what you don't like about your skin and what your problems are. And then once you've answered all your questions, it will actually give you your skin type. And then from there, it'll actually give you a list of products as well. You can obviously go and choose whatever you want. You can go and buy them individually. But if you do just one, a full skincare routine, then you can just literally do the test and it will give you a full list, morning, evening, all of the in-between, and it's just so easy. And yeah, like I said, I've been trying out a lot of these different products for the past few months now, and I definitely have, I was gonna say a few, I have a lot of favorites from Typology. I'll give you guys a little rundown. I love this stuff here. So this is the Organic Orange Blossom Hydrolate. I always struggle to say that, but I use this as a facial essence and as a toner. This scrub, I really, really like. It smells, it smells so good. And this is the Brightening Face Scrub with Rosehip Oil. And this cleansing oil as well. I've got this one because my other one was literally like down here and it wasn't looking that pretty. This cleansing oil is so, so nice as well. I only tend to use cleansing oils when I'm removing my makeup, but actually this one is so gentle to actually kind of use every day, even if I don't have any makeup on. And then speaking of makeup, this tinted serum, like I said, I've been wearing it a lot recently and a lot of you have been saying, you know, 
What have you got on your skin? Have you got foundation on? And I kind of don't because this is so lightweight in terms of coverage, but it just evens out your skin so nicely. So if you guys did want to check out Typology for yourself, of course, I will leave links to all the products that I feature in today's video in the description box down below. I'll also leave a link in the top bar of my description so you guys can check that out. Even if you just do the skin analysis, it's just kind of interesting to see what sort of skin type you are and maybe what your concerns are. Let me know what skin type you have. Mine was AE dot. So let me know if you're like my skin type twin. I'm making that a thing, okay? So yeah, make sure you check out Typology down below. And if you would like to see a very aesthetically pleasing way that I apply my skincare and get ready in the morning and how I wish my morning routine actually looked, please stay tuned. Okay, so of course, one of the first things that I do when I get out of bed in the morning, apart from saying hello to my cats, is brush my teeth. I always go to sleep in my retainers, but uh, that's not that aesthetically pleasing, so I spared you of that image. Then it's on to the shower. I love having really, really hot showers in the morning. And I'm not too picky when it comes to shower gel, but I do really like to use something that smells quite citrusy, again, just to wake me up a little bit more in the morning. Then once I'm out of the shower, because I do fake tan, I like to pat myself dry instead of rub myself dry. I find that it's a lot more gentle on my skin. And usually at this point, I like to take my robe and just kind of hang around with the cats for a little bit and just do a little bit of skincare. So to cleanse, I'm using the seven ingredient cleansing oil. I love this cleansing oil. It's so lightweight and it washes off really, really nicely as well. It's really good at getting rid of a full face of makeup, but also if you just want to get rid of a little bit of leftover makeup from the night before. And I usually like to remove that using a damp cleansing mitt. And then again, I will just lightly pat my skin dry. Then one of my favorite products from Typology is the Brightening Face Scrub with Rosehip Oil. This stuff smells so, so good. And again, it's a really lightweight scrub, so it's good to use often. It's not too harsh. It feels, again, really lightweight on the skin. And one of my favorite things about this scrub is it dissolves instantly when it makes contact with water. So it's really easy and really gentle to remove and really satisfying to look at. And then again, I'll just rinse that off using a damp cleansing mitt. Then another one of my favorite products is the Organic Orange Blossom Hydrolate. This is such a nice toner, but I also like to use it as an essence. It contains 99.4% of natural origin ingredients. I like to apply it to my skin by using both a reusable cotton pad or just using my fingertips where I really press it into my skin. Then I go in with a serum. So I tend to mix it up with two different types of serum depending on the day. One of my favorites is the vitamin C 11%. But I also really love the wheat derived hyaluronic acid 3% and B5 2%. Both of these can be applied either morning or night. And the vitamin C serum is really, really good at boosting radiance, while the other one is good at boosting hydration. And you know me, I'm always about adding a little bit more radiance to my skin. Then depending on how my skin is doing on the day, at the moment I do have a few little breakouts. I love to use this to help treat those breakouts. This is a salicylic acid 2% and zinc 1%. Then another product that I have been loving recently, this is the caffeine 5% and niacinamide 5%. And this is actually an eye serum. Again, this can be used both morning or night, and I tend to apply a few drops under my eyes and massage and tap it in. I like to bring it up onto the orbital bone just to help brighten my eyes a little bit more. This is really, really good under makeup because it is so lightweight and sinks into the skin so quickly. Another product from Typology that I am obsessed with is the Nine Ingredient Lip Balm. I am not too picky when it comes to lip balms, but this one is so, so nice. It's not too heavy at all. It almost feels like an oil on your lips, but it's not slippy. It looks really, really good on its own. It almost gives like a glossy sort of effect. 
Next, I go in with the face moisturizer, which contains 5% vitamin C and lemon water. And again, the vitamin C in this is a really good antioxidant and helps to improve skin radiance. And the lemon water gives it such a nice scent. Honestly, I love to slather my face in this stuff. Then when it comes to my everyday makeup, if I'm just running errands or if I'm just going out and about, I will keep things very, very minimal, which is where the tinted serum comes in. I'm using it in the type two light shade. This again has vitamin C in it and it also contains aloe vera. It's completely fragrance free and it just gives a really nice soft focus effect to the skin. It's really good at blurring out imperfections. It really does just look like your skin, but better. Sometimes if I wanna put a little bit more effort in that day, I will add a few little lash extensions. I feel like those three things combined are just a surefire way to give me a little skin pick me up. And then to continue on with my unrealistic morning routine, you all know I live in sweatpants, but today we are getting dressed. I actually organized my underwear drawer again recently and so I've been making an effort to wear matching underwear. It just makes me feel really, really good. Today I just decided to wear my baggy distressed jeans, which I love so, so much, and then a little black crop top to go along with it. Then I like to add a few accessories like this bracelet and then I also love to stack my rings. So I usually wear a few too many of them but I just like to stack them on top of each other. And then again, another favorite item of jewelry of mine that I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen is of course my Louis Vuitton padlock. And then of course, you all knew this was coming. I have to go and get my iced coffee. It is my addiction at the moment. At the moment, I'm loving a golden caramel iced latte. They taste like honeycomb. They are so, so good. So especially now that things are opening up a little bit more, I like to go and treat myself most mornings to a little iced coffee, glug that down, and then I'm ready to start my day. All right guys, so that is it for my aesthetically pleasing morning routine. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Honestly, the shots of the scrubs and the products just like squeezing out of the tube. Anyone else find that so satisfying? I was watching it back like, ooh, ooh. Am I, am I alone here? But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was something a little bit different, but I also know how many of you love the macro lens. And like I said, a lot of you really liked it when I did the makeup tutorial using the macro lens. So let me know if you like this one. Once again, if you guys do wanna check out any of the products from Typology, I will leave a link to everything down below and make sure you do the skin diagnostic test. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you did, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do wanna see more of me because I upload all the damn time. And let me know if you want me to do more kind of macro videos, even if it's on my Instagram or something, I can always do little sort of macro Instagram videos and that'd be kind of cool. So let me know, I can definitely do that. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.